Hello everyone, I am back with part two of the spirit of destruction. Okay, now his name in the Bible is Abaddon, spirit of Abaddon, which is the is destruction, is the spirit of destruction. His name is Abaddon. I broke it down, I got I be damned. Okay, but how to spell it is A B A D D O N. So let's begin. In Revelation 9-1-1, Abaddon is described as the destroyer, as the destroyer, the angel of the Apis, and as the king of a plague of locusts, resembling horses with crowned human faces, women hair, lion's teeth, wings, iron breastplates, and a tail with a scorpion stinger that torments for five months. Anyone who does not have the seal of God on their foreheads, okay? So, either this is going to stop for me in May, or they're going to stop in June, okay? It's been happening to me since the beginning of 2023, so January, okay? We on we in the fourth month, okay? So, it could have stop in May or June. So, let's begin. The symbolism of Revelation 9-1-1 9-11 leaves the identity of Abaddon open to interpretation. Protestant commenters Matthew Henry, 1708, believed Abaddon to be the Antichrist. 6. Where the Jameson 5-6 Brown Bible com Commentary, 1871, and Henry Hampton Haley, 1922, identified the angel as Satan. Early in Jean Bouillon's The Pilgrim's Progress, the Christian pilgrims fight over half a day, along with the demon Apollyon, they go together. Apollyon is actually the destroyer, and Apollyon is the destruction. I also got one about Apollyon, okay, so they go together. This book premediated Christianity in the English-speaking world for 300 years after its first publication in 1678. Just add those numbers up. Okay. In contrast, the Medias publication, the Emperor Peter's Bible states, Abaddon, however, is an angel, not of Satan, but of God, performing his work of destruction. A God's bidding, citing the context, context is Revelation chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. Jehovah's Witnesses also cite Revelation 3, 1 through 3, where the angel having the key of the abyss is actually shown to be a representation of God, concluding that Abaddon is another name for Jesus after his restoration. What are the creatures of Abaddon? The locusts of Abaddon simply refers as locusts in the Bible, as an army of demonic anthropomorphic locusts, locust-like entities from the bottomless pit of hell that serves the fallen angel Abaddon and takes a major role in the apocalypse. What is the symbol of Abaddon? In a courtless and historian, Abaddon's terror symbol is judgment. In Baritz the Magus, Abaddon is pictured as one of the evil demons. In Lavian Satanism, Abaddon is the first of the infernal, infernal names. A comes first alphabetically, meaning the destroyer. In 2 Samuel 24, 15-16, the destroying angel kills the inhabitants of Jerusalem. In 1 Chronicles 21, 15, the same angel of the Lord is seen by David to stand between the earth and the heaven with a drawn sword in his hand stretched out against Hebrews' enemies. Okay. I did see a locust today. Uh, I see, it's like a bug or something. I did see that, but I don't know if I see it in this one or another one. Okay. Anyways, 
I um coming back with part three. Okay, I'm out. Peace.